Hello, this is Michael Tyler with another free Vectric Project of the Month. This month's project was inspired by parish pumps that were found in small communities all over the world. I call this one the Parish Pump Planter, and it features a working pump handle and has a recessed area, actually goes deeper than what you can see here, for a uh, silk plant or a succulent or maybe just fill it up with uh, some river rock or colored marbles or whatever strikes your fancy. If you want to have a go at making this yourself, you can download the files from your VNCO account. If you make your own version, please feel free to share that on the Vectric forum and across social media. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for instant updates on new project videos released in the future. The project includes illustrated PDF instructions you can print out, as well as this step-by-step -step video where I lead you through the process I use to help you create your own parish pub planter. All right, so please enjoy the rest of this video and have fun. Happy carving. I've sanded off the fuzzies, these parts that I'm going to glue together. So we've got the two handle pieces, the center pieces, which uh, glue together like this with a gap in the middle, uh, the rings for the planter, and this is the top of the pump body here. So I'm just going to spread some glue out on a paper plate and glue up some of these parts. Now you notice this is tapered very slightly, so this side is larger, that's the, the uh, top that gets glued into this section, so just be sure you don't reverse that by accident. 
you see the slant there, very slight taper. So this is the larger side. And just glue that in there and line up the center holes there. Set that aside. And I'll glue together this planter ring. And I've already taken the time beforehand to align these so it makes a, a pleasing grain pattern. I'm going to let this set just a little bit before I apply weight to clamp it down. Just allow that glue to tack up a little. And we'll go ahead with the center portions for the pump body. I'll use one of my alignment dowels here just to kind of get that aligned there. I'm not gluing in the dowel, I'm just using it for alignment purposes. And I'll let this set up a little bit before I apply clamps and weight. And I've got uh, these scrap dowels here to help align this section here as well with the two handles. I just don't want to apply too much glue around where those holes are because I don't want to dowel or glue in those dowel scraps. They're just for alignment for now. I think I'm just gonna apply glue to that one surface there. I think that'll be enough. And I'll stick a couple of these dowels in to help align it. There we go. I'm just going to use some clothespins since this is thin enough to where the clothespins will give me a little clamping pressure. You could use rubber bands or regular clamps too if you want to. Okay, that's it for the glue up. Now I'll apply some uh, clamps or weights on these other parts now that the glue's set up a little bit. The midsection glue up is done as well as the other glue ups, they're all dry. And I need to glue the outside sections onto the midsections here. But before I do that, I'm going to align this and just mark a, make a pencil mark here and do the same on the other side. Those are my keep out areas. I don't want to put any glue there because that's, that's parts exposed. I'm just drawing a keep out line there. So I'll apply glue within this area here, but not these areas here, so. All right, let's get some glue going here. Okay, what I'm looking for is to uh, align this. I'm standing it up straight on this uh, wax paper, and I just want to align these uh, front spout areas. I'll let that glue tack up just a little bit before I apply clamps, and I'll use a combination of uh, probably some just some rubber bands and uh, maybe a couple of these spring clamps. Okay, I'll let that set up just a little bit and finish the alignment on the front for the front spout and then we'll allow that to dry.
need a couple screw eyes, uh, one to attach the uh, pump handle to the pump rod. And so I've just got these small screw eyes and I need to just open up one of these to loop the other one through. Okay, so I've opened that up a little bit and loop this one through and then close it back up again. Okay, then I'll take an awl and mark a hole right in the center, this little pot of hole, right in the center of these two halves. And I'm just eyeballing it here. Make a little pot hole. And that's where we'll screw in this screw eye. And then we'll get a small length of dowel and screw that into the end of a dowel. I cut a uh, quarter inch dowel to about two and three quarters inches long and then I just marked a pilot hole in the center of that. And you could use a larger diameter dowel for this uh, uh, pump assembly if you want to. It's just I had these quarter inch ones handy. So just be careful when you're making this pilot hole. And then uh, we'll go ahead and screw in the screw eye that I've got already mounted onto the uh, handle. Okay. And that takes care of that uh, assembly for uh, the handle. Now we're going to go ahead and dry fit all these pieces together before we decide on how we're going to finish it up before we glue it. All right, let's uh, go ahead and do a dry assembly just to make sure everything's fitting together all right before we glue it up. I've got my one inch dowel here to act as the hinge for the handle. I'll just put it in there part way before gluing it in just for a test. And that sets on top of there on the platform. And let's see if the handle works all right. Yep. Okay, so you need to decide how you want to finish this. If you're going to leave it all natural, you can go ahead and uh, glue all the components together. And um, of course, you'd want to glue everything here together and keep the handle separate and finish that separately, even if you're keeping it natural. And then the last thing you do is put in this uh, hinge dowel. And then also I've got uh, these dowel buttons for putting into, just as a decorative touch, put in the holes on either side of the handle and also a couple on the bracket down here on the platform. So let's say you're going to stain the base uh, a darker color, then you want to not have it all glued up. Go ahead and stain your base. Uh, maybe you want to do something with a handle or add any other details. So you may want to apply finish before you do the final glue up. It just depends on what you decide to do. We're nearly done. I've got everything glued up. And uh, as you can see, I stained the base and the top part of this uh, pump body. And then all I have uh, left to do is to uh, push in the one inch dowel that I rounded both ends on and use that as a hinge pin. I'm going to go ahead and just use it as a friction fit for now, but you can always apply a teeny bit of uh, glue on the edge of this dowel to make it permanent. And I'm just inserting this dowel so that there's an equal amount on either side. And of course you can uh, apply some wax in there, not a bad idea, to make that action a little bit easier. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this project, and we'll see you next month with another free Vectric Project of the Month.